Hey, good evening guys. It's Steve here. Today is Saturday, October 29th, 2016. I hope you guys are having a good weekend. I have a few things to share with you. Most of this stuff is chases. Um, probably about half of this I found. Another half I got from, I traded or bought from uh, fellow collectors. And so let's go ahead and get started. Uh, one of the things that I do want to share with you is this particular case here. Um, so one of the places that's always good to check out if you have one near you is Hobby Lobby. And this here is, uh, they've been out of these for a while, but this, they finally started getting these back in. This is an Auto World specific, uh, six car display case. And it holds uh, any car, size car. But one thing that's nice about this particular case is it will hold the majority of, uh, larger cars like the larger trucks. Uh, from Hot Wheels or from Matchbox. Um, and this one is actually cool because th this uh, occasionally they'll come out with this case with an exclusive car. Uh, the last one I bought, <coughs> excuse me, was included like a gold or a yellow Honda Civic Si. Um, here the, the car included is a 87 Chevy Camaro Z28. Uh, this particular uh, case uh, retails at Hobby Lobby for $16.99. However, with the um, with the Hobby Lobby app, you automatically get a 40% discount. So it turns out to be about $10.80. So not bad for a pretty decent display case. So uh, check them out if you have them. Um, a lot of people find, including me, have found uh, ch some chases at Hobby Lobbies. They they carry Primarily M2, Greenlight, um, and Auto World. Uh, sometimes I'll also carry some Maisto, the little bit higher brand of Maisto. And uh, I'm trying to think what else, though, if you like Harley Davidson. So I've found a uh, mix of chases there um, over the last few years. Uh, it's hit or miss. And, um, you know, check it out if you have one near you. All right. Um, the next piece I want to share is a piece. This particular case, this Matchbox case, it is hitting both Target and Walmart. This is the latest case. I don't know if this is case A or case B. I never can really uh, keep track of how they do their cases. But uh, this is one piece that I have been, been looking for, and I have actually have a couple of these now. This is, of course, the BMW 1M, the recolor. One of my favorite uh, Matchbox pieces, castings. So let's go ahead and open this up. Uh, if you ever do a search on old, older Matchbox for this particular piece, um, you'll either have to search for uh, BMW 1M or M1. Um, not Matchbox, but BMW has gone back and forth with regards to how they um, how they um, list this particular car. Um, if for those who grew up in the 80s, like me. Uh, the BMW M1 was more of a race car. It was the, one of the contenders to the to the to Lamborghini Countach and the Ferrari F40. Um, and then you know years later, this particular piece, like four or five years ago, I guess, uh, came out. This the BMW and they and they and they, they called it the 1M, not to be confused with the M1. And then for some reason in the middle of the last couple of years, they switched it back to, uh, to M1. And then now it's, uh, this particular one is now says uh, 1M. So who knows what they're doing. But there it is. Cool piece. Uh, again, one of my favorites. I uh, will get a few of these. Do some wheel swaps maybe. And maybe do some interior swaps. So we'll see. Okay. All right. And that's my only matchbox. Uh... <coughs> Okay, what next? Um, <clears throat> next piece I want to share with you is a really cool piece. It's, I haven't uh, shared with you for quite a while. Uh, the Mattel Disney Pixar Cars pieces. This is the uh, RV camper, as you can see here. And this is, his name is Bud. And as you can see from the top corner here, it is a Super Chase. Uh, I got this from a fellow club member. Uh, he got me a few of these uh, at cost, so uh, it's a pretty heavy piece. Really like it, and there you go. And the place he found this at, the Walmart he found this at, these were, I think there were about 30 of these on the pegs. So I don't know what happened, why that Walmart. Now, I guess that might be the reason why I can't find this at any other Walmart. It's because they're because they all ended up at the at his Walmart. So. 
But I he sent me a picture of it, or he posted a picture of it, and, and literally there were about 30 of these hanging on the pegs. Um, and that's the Super Chase. So, who knows? Good old distribution. And um, next, uh, the next video I do, I'll have a loose one to share with you. So, okay. There's the, there he is in the back here. All right. All right, so that's the Super Chase. The next piece I actually did find at Hobby Lobby. I found it a couple days ago. It's a really cool piece. Um, not, I don't really collect a lot of uh, slot machine slot cars, but this one was pretty cool, and it's a chase. So this here is the Auto World. It is the Don Schumacher 1970s Plymouth Cuda funny car. And as you can see, it's it's a chase piece. It has white tires on it. Um, great color. If you can see, um, kind of a sky almost blue. So there it is. Um, and it looks like it's called, it's part of a line called Legends of the Quarter Mile. So there you go. And I found that at Hobby Lobby. And again, uh, this was uh, listed, I think, at $22. And then with the 40% off, um, came down to about $14. So, pretty cool. Alright, uh, moving on. Da, 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 da. Let's talk. Uh, we'll talk Auto World. Uh, this this next piece I found uh, actually this morning at Toys R Us. This is the Auto World Release Five. So premium premium release five. It's a '66 Oldsmobile 442, and as you can see, it is an ultra red, which is the Auto World's chase version. Um, it seems like Auto World has also been changing up their how their chases go. Um, before, you can always identify an, an ultra red by the red cher red cherry color with a white stripe or white tampo on the top. Well, they seem to be going away with that, or at least on some of the pieces. So, um, here it is. This is the ultra red Auto World. And it looks like it's part of the vintage muscle, muscle uh, line. Okay. Next piece, I found this one on Thursday, maybe? Yeah, Tuesday, Thursday or Friday. Can't remember. Uh, this I found at Target. This is a new series, I think, or a new release, excuse me. Um, this is a M2, Auto, M2 Machines Auto Wheels. And let's see, I don't, can't really tell. Yeah, I don't know what release it is, but uh, it definitely is a new car because I haven't seen this one before. Um, so I found this at, uh, at Target. It's a 1957 Chrysler 300C. And as I mentioned earlier, M2 is also changing the way they do some of their uh, chase pieces. So, you know, before you can identify a chase piece by all the gold trim, the gold wheels, etc. Well, now they've, um, they're have they doing the combination of gold and what they call, what I, what I like to call them, is like the gel clear uh, tires. And uh, so here you are. This is the chase piece. You can also tell it's a chase piece because it has the M2 logo on the back window. Um, I think the regular version also has black interior instead of red interior, which is what this one has. Uh, the regular version does have the same wheels. It's just uh, the only difference uh, is the gold, the gold hubcaps on this. Okay, and I think they're chrome on the re the regular version. So that's a cool piece. It's good year branded there. All right. So I haven't found that. I haven't found an uh, M2 chase at this particular target that I hit um, for a while. So that's a nice find. Um, another piece I found this morning at the same target, uh, excuse me, same, same Toys R Us as the Auto World, is this uh, green light. It is the Hot Pursuit Series 19. So it's the new series that's out. It's a 67 Chevy Biscayne police car from Fargo Police, Fargo, North Dakota. And as you can see, it is a green machine. It's a very nice piece. And the number on this one is <clears throat> 1,085. Okay. So there you go. Uh, I've seen the green machines for the other cars in this ni Series 19 release, and they are really nice. So make sure you check them out and take a look at that. Uh, to at least... I think at least half of that case, at least three of the cars in this particular series, are um, the green machines are all green bodied versus green wheels. So, very cool. Black Bandit green machines are also nice. Um, the next two pieces I got from a trade from my buddy Ken. 
Um, I sent them some stuff. So first one I want to share with you is a very cool piece. This is also a green light. Uh, it's a Javelin series. And I guess there's no series number, but uh, this is a 1971 AMC Javelin AMX. I um, always liked collecting the Javelins uh, because my dad used to have one um, back in the 80s until it got totaled. But as you can see here, it is the green machine. It's got the uh, green wheels and the green base. And this one is numbered 1509. And this will be my fourth green machine Javelin, I think. It's a very cool piece. There's the card. Okay. Uh, the next piece here, he also got through the trade from the same guy, Ken. It is a Black Bandit Series 14. It's a 73 AMC Javelin. And as you can see, it is a green machine as well. And the number on this one is 22, so it's pretty low there. Okay. So thank you, Ken, for those pieces. All right, the last pieces I want to share with you is the... is are the pieces that are right now blowing up all the Facebook pages and that of course is the the new and the latest and greatest M2 machine auto haulers the Christmas uh, auto haulers for, uh, with the moon pie logo and I was able to find all the entire set for the last couple days so we'll start with this one this is the mainline version this is the um, and they're all the same but this is a 1960 so here, this is the yellow version of the 1960 Ford C600 and 1949 Studebaker 2R truck. So uh, this is the yellow version. So there's three colors. There's yellow, there's blue, and there's pink. And I'm going to open this up for you. So hopefully, and show you the the truck that's inside. It's a Studebaker. It's just like the last year's version, which is the green version, um, which I also have. Um, it is Walmart exclusive, so as you can see here, there's the Walmart logo, and it is printed, so it's not there's no sticker on it. And so let's go ahead and open this up, and we'll show you what this bad boy looks like. Um, one thing about these is, um, if you if you buy these, um, I personally um, would open them up, even whether you keep them or not, just to confirm that the car is in there. There's been a lot of issues with. Uh, where people have actually been buying these, um, they're more interested in the truck and they will actually take the car out, remove the car from the hauler, and then um, return the truck. Um, so I would do that assuming, unless you know specifically that you got it from a brand new case or you got it from a friend of yours. Um, but here's, we'll show you what the tr car looks like, or truck, excuse me. So there's the truck, Get the light, okay. So what's in there? It's the yellow version. Uh, it's a yellow version that matches, of course, the the hauler itself. Okay. And in case you want to know, yes, it does remove. If you want it, you basically have to unscrew the truck from, uh, the, at least the trailer from the base, and then there's a screw going into the car. Um, I haven't tried it myself, but I I'm guessing, I'm assuming that to actually screw the car back on into the trailer is a pain in the ass. So don't remove it unless you really, really want to or have to. Um, you will see sometimes on eBay, people will sell, will separate the two. They'll sell the truck by itself or they'll sell the car by itself because they wanted, they want either or. So, so be careful, like I said, if you're buying one off of eBay, make sure, you know, even ask questions to make sure that the car is intact and has never been opened. Um, but when you do get it, you know, open it up just in case. Because um, you don't want somebody ripping off. This is a big issue, uh, particularly with the last uh, hauler, the Goodyear hauler, that had the Dodge Daytona. And it, people were, people were um, buying the hauler just for the Daytona, removing the Daytona, and then returning the, um, re returning the hauler. So, there are a lot of shady things people do, but that, and that's um, typically one of them. So... All right. All right. So the next one is a blue one. So here's the blue one. Okay, we'll open this one up for you. Sorry, it takes so long, but you want to be careful when you open these up. They're, they're kind of tricky. There's a lot of folds and flaps. So got to fold the open up, open the inside flap there. There's a plastic 
Another way you can tell if it's been opened is when you open it, if this plastic piece right in the end is missing, there's a good chance that somebody opened it. Now, what a lot of people will do is they'll open it up, um, they'll take it home, they'll open it up, and they'll they'll leave the car they'll they'll leave the car in just to make sure, and then they'll they'll forget to put this back in. Um, there was some rumor, uh, I don't know if it was true or not, I've really confirmed that on the Goodyear hauler, um, there was a rumor that they took, even though it was a mainline truck, uh, there was a rumor that the Daytona in the truck was a, was the chase. Um, I don't know if that's true or not, but I think that's one reason why people were removing it. Um, so, <laughs> things people do, you know, um, so... Let's see, make sure the truck car is in here. Okay, there it is. It's a blue one. Okay. I'll close it back up. There it is. Really nice piece. Um, typically, I, I'm really picky. I always like to buy the auto hauler chases because um, that's what I collect. Um, and typically I don't buy the mainline version unless I really want it. Um, and this is one of them. I do like the, the Christmas haulers. So I, I do buy a set of them just to have. Um, there's some other ones I've, I've bought as well. I've bought the two Goodyears. The, main, the regular uh, version of the Goodyear hauler. Both the yellow and the blue that I shared in previous videos. So uh, just because, you know, they do get expensive. Um, I mean, these things retail for... At, at Walmart for sixteen, seventeen dollars plus tax. So you know it turns out to be eighteen dollars out the door, um, and they get expensive. It's now if this is the only thing you collect, that's cool. Okay, and then here's the pink one. Okay, open the pink one up again, same way. Just be careful the way you open it, make, but make sure you do open it. My suggestion. I even open um, chases just to make sure the car is in there. Um, and the reason why also is the older, um, the older M2 chases, and, and uh, well, actually the older M2s periods, the ones that had box trailers, um, they didn't used to come with cars. Um, only certain ones now come with cars. So, uh, which is good because I think some people felt a little cheated out um, versus the um, the auto haulers with the. Um, um, that have the open trailers that show the cars, like the Volkswagens and things like that, the Mustangs. So there you go. Open that up. And there's the car. Pink one. See that? Okay. So we are good. I'm happy that uh, all the pieces are here. And those now will go on my on my shelf, my display shelf, um, never to be sold. <laughs> so there you go. All right, we'll finish that up. Okay, the last two pieces I want to share with you, of course, are the chases. Yes, I found these yesterday. So uh, the top one here, just my camera. The top one is the raw. The bottom one is the normal gold chase. Um, the top one I actually had help with some friends that uh, found it and saved it for me. So I want to thank Ken and Michael for this one. And on my way home, I stopped at another um, Walmart and found the regular Chase. So uh, I'm not going to open these up because I actually did already open them up to get some pictures and to um, check the car out as well, but, and it's there. So, But there it is. It's the gold, regular gold Chase. Limited to 750 pieces. Again, Walmart exclusive. It's got the gold top. The top is gold. The rims are gold, and then certain accents are gold. That's how. That's the true. Um, that's the classic uh, chase representation. And then the big piece right here is, of course, the raw. Um, now, raw, most people will think of silver, but uh, they're, they're changing, of course. M2 is changing the way they do the raws as well on certain pieces, and this is basically an, an, almost a dull pink, um, and it's limited to only 250 pieces worldwide. And people are finding these left and right right now um, at Walmarts. Uh, there's been some people that pound four of these. Um, so I don't know, what, you know, again, they're hitting everywhere, but there it is. Okay. 
All right, so there you have it, the the, the big hype that's going on. Um, if you're on the Facebook pages, everyone's finding these, everyone wants them. I wanted them, and uh, luck, I was lucky enough to find find them and uh, and have uh, good friends that collect, good collector friends that helped me out with the with this raw piece. Okay. All right, I think that's it for now. Until then, happy hunting, and we'll talk to you later. I'll probably I'll talk to you guys next weekend, most likely, because we have a club meet on November fifth, and uh, hopefully, I'll have some more stuff to share with you. I do have some stuff coming in the mail as well, so who knows? I'm, you may actually see another video between now and and next uh, Saturday. All right. Uh, until then, happy hunting, and we'll talk to you guys later. Have a good one.